Welcome. In this video, I'm taking a look at this Wurzerg uh, screw extractor set. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing this before I post it. If you're interested in one of these, I'll put a link in the description. If you use that, like it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll unclip all this. It comes with a, a little plastic case. It says Lucky Day. Talks about some of their other products here. Contact them if you have any problems. Here are the instructions. It says you must drill a hole first when uh, when the brake screw surface is smooth. Otherwise, the drill bit will slip. It must be vertical and low speed, less than 200 RPM when drilling. Reverse use this bit. Drill the hole first. Deeper will be easier to take out. It says it is best to use electric hand drill. Cannot be used with hammer drill mode. Must be low speed during use. So this has a little chart on which sizes it supports. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says remove broken screw in one step. It says the size of number six to number ten needs to be installed in the socket adapter first and then attach it to the extension bit holder. So it comes with a uh, socket adapter for the little bits. It says the other sizes can be attached to the extension bit holder directly. It says use the drill bit to drill a hole in the broken screw. Change to the extractor bit with the same size. Reverse the drill. Take out the broken bit. So let's take a look at this here. So these are all the extractors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have the magnetic uh, bit extension and the socket adapter. Okay, I have a piece, I have a screw in wood and I measured it, it's about four and a half millimeters. So it says the size is number seven for four and a half millimeters. So we'll use number seven. So that's this extractor here. We'll need the socket adapter. I'll use the bit extension. I'll chuck that up in my drill. And then it says you want to do this slowly. Oops. Okay, so we've drilled down into that. Let's see if this grabs at all. I think that's going to grab. So now I'll stick the extractor in. I have this on reverse. And it should grab. There we go. There we go. And we have the screw out. So once it uh, brings enough of the head up above the surface, you may want to grab it with some vice grips or something, because then you're putting less stress on your tool there. I wonder if I can get this back in. There we go. So to take it out, you could maybe try using pliers. You could uh, drill a, a hole in another board and screw it back in until this releases, and then throw that board away or whatever. So. That worked pretty slick. I like that. That's a neat idea. It, it can be a big hassle when you get these screws uh, stuck in things. And, uh, you know, this works with more than just, uh, you know, a Phillips head screw. Like here they show, like here they show it on a hex bolt, uh, an Allen screw, um, flat, anything you could drill a hole in, you know, it's the right size uh, would work with this. So, and the way this works is this is very hard uh, steel that digs into the steel of the screw and you know allows you to extract it so um, that's pretty neat now as a result these things are probably brittle so you want to be careful about like um, getting them at a wrong angle or getting them um, you know cockeyed where they have too much pressure on the side i imagine they could cr crack on you so and that's with any bit extractor it's just how metal works you can't make uh, metal that's going to be hard enough to dig into the screw that's super flexible at the same time that's just not how it works so it's something to think about 
So that's the WorkZug screw extractor set. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.